Hey, what is up everyone? So, today we're going to be doing the brake flush to the E46. Unfortunately, I can't really be outside as much. So just to avoid all the wind noise and all that, I'll be telling you guys here what we're going to be doing. First, we're going to be emptying out uh, from the reservoir and then we're going to put a new one in because that's like super dirty black. So we're using this guy here to siphon everything out. Then afterwards, we're going to be using the same hose that's right here. We're going to pull it out and we're going to siphon it out from the caliper so right now you guys may be thinking like oh well how is he going to do all this so i'll go ahead and show you guys all how to do this and i'll show you guys first so for starters if you didn't know here is your brake fluid and as you guys can see that's not supposed to be that color it's actually really really dark um you can still see some of the yellowish in there but it's supposed to be kind of bright not too dark like this and uh the car is already up and running so we'll also be putting it in and taking out the uh, fluids from there so we're gonna go ahead and first siphon this out into this little bottle here and then from there we're gonna continue siphoning out from the calipers So for this part, all we're gonna do is we're gonna try putting this guy right inside here. Thing is, it's actually pretty tight on the nipple here. It will be a nine millimeter. Um, I honestly only have the ratchet wrenches. Well, you guys can see here. So I'm gonna be using this side instead. And all I'm gonna do is open it up, and we're just gonna start siphon, siphoning out any uh, thing that comes out. So. So after all that, you guys can see just with the reservoir being flushed as well as taking it out of one caliper, how dirty that is. And it's not supposed to be that way. So we're going to continue doing this for all four tires and we'll come back to you guys on all this. So just make sure every time you guys are uh, filling out or taking out any of the uh, old uh, brake fluid, make sure you refill this guy because if not, you're going to get air in your system. And that's something that you don't want because you're on the process of... Uh, doing the flush you're already removing all the air that may have been inside so make sure you always check on this if it gets too low just refill it and if there's air just know you're gonna have to go back and just take out all the air out of your system also we have Puku Pals as you guys know I am affiliate for Puku Pals I will have the description down below on the Puku Pals honestly I like them I'm using them and as you can see it's already getting dirty right there see real grease monkey but yeah, definitely very useful for me. I use it. Uh, like I said, the oversized zippers, small compartments, everything for a little kid. Honestly, I'm a kid at heart, and that's how I like to be, you know? But definitely make sure you check these out. I will have my link down below for you guys to purchase. Now we're into the car. Like I said, you can do this without removing the wheel. Um, it's slightly difficult because the exhaust is right here. The other side is a lot easier. And yes, I did remove my coil over for this guy just because the bushing on the bottom went bad so easily and I was really upset with that and yeah so we're gonna be running different weird setups here but besides the fact right there is a the little nipple all you gotta do is push this side this guy to the side so just open it up put your tube in here and do the nine millimeter sorry I just can't get my tripod under here so I'll show you guys right after the setup's done okay so right there, that's the setup. It's already open. All I gotta do is press on the brakes to pump everything out. And I did it upwards for now, just because it's less messier. You guys can see here, here's the little siphoning guy. I can just pull him down this way. And here is 
all the nasty gunk that's already been inside. I'm gonna finish this off. So at the end of the day, the car brakes perfectly. Honestly, now you can just slam the brakes and it'll stop instantly. It's such a huge night and day difference. Um, like I said, usually it's something that, you know, you don't expect it much from a car. Sometimes it has soft braking or whatnot. But when you know that the uh, brake fluid is bad, then of course, your braking is going to be a lot different. So, so I hope you guys liked the video. Remember, always comment down below if you guys have any questions on anything there. And also, don't forget to subscribe, alright? See you guys on the next one. Bye.